All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here at the Milton County Sportsman's Association. I have the video camera a little bit overexposed because I want you to be able to see something. I'm wearing black on black today. Uh, actually, black on black, right? So uh, what do we got here? This is the Rock Island Armory. This is their VR80. I've made and continued doing some modifications, and that's why I've got the video overexposed so you can see. Uh, one of the things that I was really not happy with is during the last three gun, uh, the, the gun performed flawlessly. So we did, we did some great options on there. We ported out the uh, gas ports. That was pretty much it. Um, and put in a Timmy trigger. And also uh, with that, I got a light spring for the, uh, the mag release. And then I put this biscuit thing on from the guys over there. Uh, you can buy this directly from uh, Rock on or whatever they call it, Arms Corps. So anyway, what this does, and we'll start over. Before the at the three-gun event, my uh, muzzle brake kept coming loose because that set screw kept coming loose, okay? And I didn't want to Loctite it down because you really do have to remove this in order to clean everything that's inside the handguard. So what I wanted to do was get this biscuit thing. It allows you to remove this bushing that I paid for, okay? <laughs> and it was like $34 or $40 or whatever, but you can, Remove that bushing and you can use a castle nut right here, okay, uh, to countersink or counter tighten to the muzzle brake. We'll see if that works today. I hand tightened it and man, I'll tell you what's on there. Uh, we're still running the Timmy trigger. It's smooth, it's a silk. Uh, this thing is great. I think the only thing I don't like about it is how the uh, this guy right here rattles. So we're gonna take some, I'm not worried about replacing it. It does the job, it does what it does. You know, and it's so fucking, it's so funny these days that people get so hell bent on putting super stupid, stupid stuff on their rifles that they forget about the functionality of the damn thing. You know, uh, it's one of the reasons why I've kind of, the love affair with firearms is just, it's gotten out of hand. So, <laughs> so but I want this one to run because we need to keep shooting and open. I've got three majors I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot a couple, uh, three guns before then. Broke my pinky toe trying to get through that. I'm wearing flip flops today. All right, so we've got the, the handguard, the biscuit on the handguard with the bushing up here or the castle nut and got this thing. I've got a light spring in the uh, magazine release. Why are we out here? We're going to test this, the new upgrades, this guy right here, along with these guys right here. Um, this is the 25 round, this is a five round extension that you could put on there. So the nice thing is you can just screw these on. You remove the base plate, put the spring down in here and you put it right back and you're good to go. A couple things that I did also is you go ahead and I removed, and I don't know if you can see this and I'll take some pictures to show you, but I removed this little section right here that has the, uh, the uh, last round hold open. Really don't need that, but anyway, these hold 25 rounds. So what I wanna do, there were several times during this last three gun that I should have been able to finish the stage had I had these guys and I was able to use them. So today we're gonna be testing with the uh, AA Super Sports. These are the uh, 1,250 feet per second, one ounce, seven and a half loads. The, uh, the, this thing loves the ounce and a half. It will shoot these guys. And we're basically gonna see how it works. So let's go ahead and this is a full box right here, okay? And I am going to go ahead and load these up. And you know, really, truly, you can do these things, load these with your hand. Uh, you don't have to change out the spring with the extensions, which is really nice. Uh, and you just uh, do the same thing. You wanna tune the magazine. I do have three additional magazines. I went ahead and bought these off of uh, Palmetto State Armory for $29 a piece. That wasn't a bad deal. I got them on sale, free shipping, I think it was. Um, but anytime you can just get a couple mags. So we're gonna test these guys for operation. Like I said, I've got a bad mag in that last batch that I bought the three. So what I wanna do is go ahead and test these out to see if they will uh, go ahead and function. Cause there might be a stage where I need well, more than 50 rounds. So the biggest thing you wanna make sure of is, is when the follower gets down past here, it doesn't lock up on that. So that's why we're testing this thing out today. Um, I do have a competition the first week of August out there in Franklinville. Big shout out to Oscar. Uh, if it wasn't for him, I probably would not have gone out to that three gun because it was 95,000 gazillion degrees. So let's go ahead and load this guy up and we'll load that one up and we'll see how she runs. We're going to run 50 rounds to this guy consecutively and see how it goes. As a matter of fact, 
I should probably just go ahead and load up both mags. Let's see how hot this bad boy gets. So let's do this. Got a camera out there on the outside. Hopefully it picks me up. Let's go ahead and uh, scare some people. Here we go. Whew. All right, so I hope that camera's in, uh, <laughs> in focus. So here we go. Do -do -do -do. No lot back. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. She's getting warm. Get out of there. Uh, all right. Hmm. Huh. Well, also, one of the other things that I failed to mention is that I haven't cleaned a gun. So, that could be something to say about that. So, what we know is. I like it. All right, well, we need to do some more testing and this is probably need to be tightened up a little bit more. So, whoo, don't do that. <laughs> All right, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, a couple things, I'm gonna go ahead and test these guys out right here. I'm gonna see if we're getting the same malfunctions. Uh, secondary magazine was getting a couple things. I have not cleaned this firearm since that three gun. So that in itself will give you some indication, I'm so stupid for doing that, <laughs> that uh, this guy is good for a couple hundred rounds. Uh, so let me go ahead and get these things tested. With that, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's just a little fun out here at the range. It's KB32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Y'all be good, I'm out here, boom.